Good day. My name is Keith Sweats, and I'm an associate professor of medicine at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, in the Division of General Internal Medicine in the section of Palliative Medicine. Uh, today I'd like to talk about our article entitled, 10 Common Questions and Their Answers on Medical Futility, which appears in the July 2014 issue of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. My co-authors co and I decided to write about this particular topic because it certainly is one that, uh, regardless of where you're at uh, in your training, where you're at in your practice, this, these issues come up multiple times. Uh, what is futility? Um, what does the word actually mean? How do we deal with these difficult situations, etc.? So I often find that when we're doing ethics consults or when we're looking at patients um, receiving care towards the end of life, that sometimes the term futility might actually come up and it might be used appropriately or it might be used inappropriately in that situation. We decided to take this uh, 10 questions and answers approach because there really are a lot of nuances in terms of what the, the legal aspects of futility are, in terms of what the, the medical aspects concerning futility, and, and how we need to really be careful of the language that we use uh, when we uh, do decide to use the word futility, so that everyone has a, a clear understanding of what we mean if that term does come out. Certainly with changes in healthcare, in terms of healthcare reimbursement and re healthcare financing, uh, this is a, a very applicable topic in terms of how do we provide just health care uh, to many people who may not otherwise have access to health care and how should we be utilizing our resources and, and what, what consideration does that have in terms of us taking care of patients individually at the bedside. Well, there have been papers written on futility before and certainly books and, and chapters about this. Um, the main purpose that we d decided to take this topic on was to really make it an applicable, uh, useful, meaningful, relevant uh, look at futility in the 21st century in terms of really um, helping clinicians who practice primary care, who practice internal medicine, who work in ICUs or subspecialties, and helping to make the concept of futility maybe a bit more understandable. Um, compared to some of the, the very exhaustive and, and detailed uh, work that's been done on futility previously. We hope that we've done that and provided a, a framework that will allow clinicians to better understand these uh, very difficult topics and feel more comfortable in discussing uh, these issues with patients, uh, with colleagues, with families, and uh, all those involved to provide the best care that we can. Certainly our healthcare system is evolving and future directions uh, regarding these uh, topics are going to be important. Um, currently only one state has legislation uh, looking at uh, what futility might mean in the healthcare system. But again with changes to healthcare law this may be something that we're facing within uh, the upcoming years to upcoming decades in terms of what actually determines when care is futile or is that even possible. So we think this is a pertinent and timely topic and certainly hope that uh, you find this a useful piece and something that will engender more thought and discussion uh, with you and your colleagues. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.